Welcome to another episode of Irish from Three. I'm Jason Holcomb, joined with boys head coach Ben Smith. Coach, Christmas break was was wild to say the least. Still had to keep going. Y'all still practiced, still played, kept those wins coming. Uh, starting off with the entire Christmas break, what do you feel like you learned about the team? What did the team learn about themselves over that break? Perseverance. Um, we, you know, during the Christmas break, it's a different time. Our schedule is a little different, so they're practicing early in the morning. Uh, I say maturity, you know, instead of practicing at three, we're getting up at eight o'clock coming in here. So it gets you, you for a teenager, it's kind of hard to get going <laughs> that early. But they did a great job for the most part out of, I said, if we had 10 days of practice, eight of those days, they were ready to practice right away. Some days I had to wake them up in my own special, <laughs> special way. Um, but I thought we were able to trans, uh, translate those, those practices into the games. Over the break, we played. Uh, Wheeler County, Johnson County, and Dooley, I mean, uh, West Lawrence, we were able to win all those games. You know, not all great performances, but I felt we played good against Wheeler. We kind of had a letdown against Johnson County. Credit to them. They kind of dictated the style of the game. We were able to win, but I felt our guys knew they didn't play well at Johnson County, responded with a uh, good performance Saturday against our rivals, West Lawrence. Yeah, and we were able to get that good sweep. Uh, boys and girls both winning that game. Obviously, this week we were supposed to have a couple of games, but COVID-19 continues just like the fact that we're having to virtual instruct here in the schools. Uh, Trutland County going to reschedule that game. As soon as we get the dates and the times, we'll be sure to push that out. Obviously, with it being a region contest, it's going to show up at some point on the schedule. Uh, we need to have that game. Uh, but we don't get to sit there and worry about the games that aren't happening because we got a game that is happening. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and check out our Optum Player of the Week. All right, Coach, Zion, obviously, great contributor, great attitude. What are the things that Zion's contributing to the Irish this year that are helping separate us from the pack? He's, uh, I would say he's, he's just improved player. You know, this is a testament to, you know, in the summer, in quarantine, when we couldn't really be in the gym, he lift, we came, we watched film, he lifted weights, and then we couldn't get in the gym. He was one of the few guys who were here, was here all the time. So now you're just seeing it translate, I know, you most just get to come to the games with me seeing them every day. So even the guys last year, like speaking with Koi King, DJ, they always say like Zion is like so improved, so much improved. <laughs> if we had a award right now, he'll probably be most improved. So I think he's just seeing the fruits of his labor. And he um, he definitely didn't play well at Johnson County. And he understood that. And, you know, he took it personal. Like right after the game, he asked me about working out. So uh, West Lawrence, I just think he came out with the focus and most, more so just to play well. He made shots, and anytime somebody makes shots, it picks their energy up. But I think he's just mentality. Again, I say maturity. His maturity, mentality, understanding, and assessing himself that he could have did better is the reason he played so well Saturday. Well, I, I know you're never going to turn away a gym rat. You know, for somebody that I know, you still try to find a way to sneak in here every chance you get to shoot a ball or two. Heard you made a few threes in a row, too. Uh, just, <laughs> Just letting people know he still got it. Uh, and them kids know it too. I know those kids know that they don't want coach to say, you know, hey, I'm on, how many free throws I make is how many, how many a suicide y'all fit to run. So. Most definitely not. No. But, uh, but coach, obviously all that work's gonna pay off as we continue into this stretch run of the season because two thirds of the season is still sitting in front of us. And specifically this Saturday, we're gonna be playing host to Dooley County who has knocked off Trutland County earlier in the season. What are the Bobcats doing that you see that we've got to kind of work around and try to do to get another W for the Irish? But do is a good program. Traditionally, they're good. They're usually pretty good. I think they went 21 and seven last year. Um, they play hard. You can tell they're well coached. Um, been in the system for a while. All the guys know where they're supposed to be. Um, similar to, I hate to compare teams, but just styles of play kind of similar to Wilkerson County, different personnel. They're gonna play hard. They take a lot of threes. They're, they're gonna come in, with, you know, with the intentions to win. You know, a lot of some teams. That's not always the case. But Dooley, they are a program who expects to win when they go out on the floor. So it'll be a great test for us. I think they're, they haven't played that many games, but I think they're four and zero right now. So, um, so you know, it'll be a great test for both teams. And these are the type of games as a player and the coach that you live for. And we're, we're excited to play them. And 
I mean, it's only one game this week, so it's it's really we'll get up for them during the week and we'll be right. ready. Well, and and the thing about it is we've got another chance here to to fill up our gym and have ready to come out to the Rock and take part in a basketball game. Eventbrite's where you're going to go for those tickets, and we want to make sure that you know that limited seating. Uh, we're very strict with our protocol with COVID-19, so please don't come without a mask. Uh, want to make sure that you social distance and all that and have a good time. We still want to make lots of noise because we want to support these children and all. Uh, if you're not able to come to the game, NFHS is where the broadcast will be. Our broadcast team with Mr. Ellenberg and his staff are doing a fantastic job. I really enjoy getting to watch those. Uh, I've, I've watched just about all of them in some form or fashion and it's neat to watch them. Just as the kids are improving, I'm watching the broadcast team, which is a couple of kids. They're improving too. So improvement all around. Want to hope that you guys see the Irish this weekend and hopefully improve to 12 and one. And when we come back, we'll be back with coach Evan Jefferson on Irish from three. Welcome back to Irish from Three. I'm Jason Holcomb, joined now by girls head coach Evan Jefferson. Coach Jefferson, girls are off to an eight and two start. I know that has to have you proud, especially considering those two losses were very winnable games. What has been the thing that is in your first year that you've seen out of these girls that shows promise, not just with record wise, but moving forward into this deep part of the season? Uh, biggest thing, well, two biggest things is growth uh, amongst the whole team. I'm starting to see people step up as far as leadership goes. And then, um, I mean, Breeze being consistent uh, every game, but somebody always steps up, to, you know, to help pick up the load, to give her a little break here and there. So that, those are the two biggest things I've seen so far. Well, I know that everybody's been really excited. And to be honest with you, I don't know the last time over a 10 game stretch that we've gone eight and two with the Lady Irish. So testament to you and to the girls for the effort that they're putting in. And speaking of effort, we wanna go ahead and check out the effort from our latest Optum Player of the Week. Coach, you talked about this in the pre-show. We've had two freshmen that have been queen of the court here lately. Nahaley was the most recent one. Uh, what does it mean to you to, to have Nahaley and the other freshmen already making an impact? Uh, it's big. Um, I think that coming into the season, um, I don't think they expected that they were going to get these this kind of opportunity. <laughs> but um, they're definitely stepping up to the plate. Um, now Haley, like like I posted on Facebook, had to chew her out at halftime and let her know that <laughs> she's no longer a freshman. She, you know, we're in the middle of the season, second half of the season. She's now a sophomore, and she has to put on her big girl pants and big girl shoes and just step it up. And she did big time. She finished with 16 points and seven rebounds. So I know that has to make you so excited to to see. Um, somebody make that switch over halftime because there's so many times that somebody's spirit just goes downhill and then Definitely. you're having to find out something else. So testament to Haley and, and we want to thank our friends at Optum always for getting to highlight these children. But coach, we don't get to spend too much time celebrating what we've done because we've got a lot to do ahead of us. Uh, the bulk of the season is still sitting in front of us over the next couple of months. And in particular this weekend, we've got another region contest and talk for a second about what the Lady Irish have to do to improve to nine and two? Um, we definitely have to stay consistent with our effort. Um, that's the biggest thing. Um, continue to play defense and just um, keep doing right what we've been doing. Uh, I mean, we've got to fix a few things here and there, but outside of that, I can't be, I can't complain at all with everything that they're doing. They've been great. They've been listening. They want to get better. They're enjoying this. They're not letting the wins get to their head. They're staying humble. So that's the biggest thing. Well, I love hearing every 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 word of that makes me excited as a as a fan and as somebody that is part of this team and gets to watch them when I do. And 
want to make sure that you take an opportunity to watch these Lady Irish as they try to improve to 9 and 2 this Saturday. We're here at The Rock. Uh, 6 p.m. tip off. Pretty much all our games are going to be 6 p.m. unless something crazy. And we want you guys to come. There's, there's only 400 tickets. It's limited seating. You got to go to Eventbrite to get those tickets early so you can go ahead and get in here and make sure that you promise the chair. Uh, if you're not able to come physically but still want to participate, NFHS is where you go for the virtual broadcast. Broadcast team is doing a fantastic job. I, I love it. It's easy for me to break down film too because I see that score. So I know when we score, I can go back and cut that clip and put it in the highlights. So thank you to Mr. Ellenberg and his staff. Make sure that you're supporting these kids in some way, whether it's coming to these games, watching these games, or, or just making sure to like and share all the good highlights and stuff that we're putting out here across our social media. Uh, these young men and women are working in extremely hard under some weird circumstances and we want to give them a shout out always and as always we want to thank you for tuning in to Irish from 3.